Hey, what's up? Well, you know, it's that time of year again. Back once again, reviewing video games and video game systems. I'm reviewing a video game system this time. Instead of reviewing a video game, I'm reviewing a video game system. Next month, I'm going to review a video game. This is my first video game system review of 2022. I'm going to be reviewing a game system that I never owned, but I played the hell out of back when I was a kid. I'm talking about the Xbox. Not the Xbox 360. Not the Xbox One. Not the Xbox One S. I'm talking about the original Xbox. The first installment of the Xbox video game console series. That's what I'm going to be reviewing tonight. Even though I don't have the console at the moment. And I never owned one when I was younger. But I still played it when I was younger. Because I didn't get a chance to review the original Xbox last year during its 20th anniversary month in November because it was also the GameCube's 20th anniversary month in November. So I decided to review the GameCube instead and review the Xbox in 2022. So even though I don't have the game system at the moment and I never owned it when I was younger, I still played it. I can still come on and do a review on it. So here's my review of the original Xbox. The original Xbox is a home video game console and the first installment of the Xbox video game console series. It was manufactured by Microsoft, marketed as the, it is the first, it is manufactured by Microsoft and was released as Microsoft's first foray into the gaming console market. It was released here in North America on Thursday, November 15, 2001, in Japan on February 22, 2002, and Europe and Australia on March Thursday, March 14, 2002. The Xbox was announced in March of 2000 with the release of the PlayStation 2 in Japan. And the Xbox features the ability not only to play games, but to also play CDs and DVDs. It is classified as the sixth generation of video game consoles. And of course, it was competing with the PlayStation 2 and the Nintendo GameCube. Halo 2 is the best selling game on the Xbox, selling 8.46 million units as of November 2008. The original Xbox was succeeded by the Xbox 360 in November 2005. As of May 10th, 2006, the Xbox has sold 24, 24 plus million units until it was discontinued in Japan on June 4th, 2006, Europe on March 11th, 2007, and here in North America on March 2nd, 2009. Now, like I said before, I never owned the Xbox when I was younger and I don't own the Xbox now, but I play the hell out of the Xbox. As a matter of fact, I think I should show y'all a little promo before I, I let y'all know what games that I play on the Xbox. I got to show y'all this. I think it's a video where Bill Gates was announcing about the Xbox. And then The Rock shows up. Let's see if I can find the video. I know I I know this video is in here somewhere. There it is. Found it. 2001 Xbox console revealed with The Rock and Bill Gates. I'm not sure if y'all remember this. Working with uh, partners who 
help build the hardware, working with the software developers, working with the retailers. The program around this thing is really quite phenomenal. But the box itself uh, is another thing that we've put a lot of energy into. So you may have been wondering what this great device was here. Uh, this is the Xbox. And so uh, for the first time, let me now unveil Xbox. Look at that. Miss those days of video game consoles. As I said, the design here was driven by spending time with gamers and actually putting the control in their hands. We tried out over 100 different form factors you know, to find what was the most comfortable and would give them the best game gameplay. If it's a game that you've played before, one of the unbelievable things here is that we have a hard disk and so the information about the game will already be stored. You don't have to load it off the disk or load it as you move uh, from level to level. And what you're seeing on the front, the eject, uh, the on-off button, and four game ports. Mm. Uh, that was one of the big pieces of feedback, was people didn't want to be limited to two. They, they, these, these games, uh, where lots of people can participate, we wanted to make it easy uh, to have four people. This box includes a rumble capability. So as you're sitting there holding it, you're feeling what's going on. You're feeling that explosion or that crash or that uh, intensity actually come through uh, the controller itself. This is a, a totally digital device. And so off the back, you've got the, the digital connector that goes out to the TV. We support HDTV or uh, all the other connections you've got. The mm. resolution here is really Way before HDTV existed. Uh, uh, not everybody will have an HDTV, but this thing is ready for them when they get it. The graphics power is over three times what's been available before. And we've done it in a way that the model for software developers is very rich. The ability to actually achieve the theoretical performance and use tools that they're used to uh, is very straightforward. We've done that by, in some cases, leveraging PC technology. Intel's a partner here uh, with the, the CPU. Uh, people, uh, NVIDIA's providing a very key chip there, NVIDIA chip. In fact, what you're seeing here is the final Xbox, except for a couple of those chips that are so state-of-the-art uh, that they'll only be done uh, right as we finish the manufacturing, so we'll plug those chips in. Except for that, everything in this box is the final design. There he is. Well, thanks, Rock, and it really is an honor to have you here. Believe it or not, I'm a big fan of yours. For instance, I know that you're a five-time WWF champion, not to mention one of the top entertainers in the world. No, I'm very flattered. I'm a big fan of yours as well. Uh, for instance, the Rock knows you're the chairman and chief software architect of the Microsoft Corporation, the leading worldwide provider of software for the personal computer. Thank you, Rock. I'm, I'm very flattered myself. By creating Windows, by creating Windows in 1983, a multitasking graphical user interface environment that runs on MS-DOS-based computers along with Windows NT and Windows 2000, completely self-contained operating systems that feature networking, uh, symmetric multi-processing, multi-threading, and uh, security. Bill, you certainly revolutionized the technology we know today. Wow. Rock, that is impressive. But let's, let's move on. Oh, oh, oh. You also like golf. That's true, I, I do. But today isn't about me, Rock. It's about the future of video games. No game should never cease to amaze the rock. Never cease to amaze the rock. You're right again. Today isn't about you. It's about the new Xbox. And quite frankly, I couldn't be more excited. The Xbox is everything The Rock is. Cutting edge, powerful, exhilarating. And like The Rock, it will be the most electrifying thing coming out this year. And what The Rock is to sports entertainment to the WWF, the Xbox will be to the video game industry a breakthrough and certainly an original. I mean, The Rock doesn't impress easily, Bill, you know that, but I'm pretty damn impressed with what we're seeing here today. Considering that this Xbox at this moment is only running on one 
Chris and assistant Tower, very impressive. Bill, do you have any idea what the rock would be like if you were only running on one fifth of its power? Well, I, I would think that... It doesn't matter what you think, Bill. <laughs> Yeah, shout out to Bill Gates and The Rock for that presentation of the Xbox. Ah, brings back so many memories. Now, the games that I played on the Xbox was, speaking of The Rock, WWF Raw, WWE Raw 2, Grand Theft Auto San Andreas, Spider-Man, Halo, Halo 2, um, 50 Cent's video game. I forgot the name of that 50 Cent game. Those mainly the games that I remember playing on the Xbox. Let me know what games have you played on the Xbox and what are your two cents on the Xbox looking back on it 20 years later? The 20th anniversary was two months ago, November 15th. I missed it because I was too busy celebrating the 20th anniversary of the GameCube. But I hope you guys enjoyed my review of the original Xbox, my first video game console review of 2022. Be on the lookout for my first video game review of 2022 next month. Speaking of WWF Raw, that's the next game that we're reviewing. WWF Raw for the Xbox during its 20th anniversary month next month. I'm not sure when I'm going to release the video. I know it's probably going to be either the third or the fourth Friday of February. I believe it's February um, February 25th, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, February 25th is the day I'm going to upload my review of WWF Raw for the Xbox. Thank you guys for watching. Have yourselves a good night. Take care. Stay safe. Wash your hands. Wear your face mask. I'm out.